Drinking vinegars, known as shrubs, are finding a savory home on a growing number of drink menus. And the liquid muse, Natalie Bobis, is mixing up cocktails with this refreshing alternative to predictable acids, such as lemons and limes. Good morning, Natalie. Good morning, my dear. I never thought we'd be talking about this when we talk about cocktails so much, so uh -huh. I'm really excited because, actually, you know, shrubs date back to the colonial era. So, you know, you always have a great history lesson involved in your drinks. So, talk about this ever-evolving cocktail. Scene. Well, I thought it would be interesting to bring these on at this time of year because, yeah. of course, summer is ending. Mm -hmm. And so if we were living in colonial times, <laughs> we might be wanting to preserve some of our fruits. Mm. And so one way that people did this was with shrubs. And so we're putting uh, fresh fruits, uh, vinegar, and sugar. And wow. It's, yeah, it's really cool. And you can get really creative and you use all different kinds of fruits. Really? Yeah, the one I'm going to make with you today, I brought berries mm. and pomegranate seeds and green chili. Wow. So I thought we'd do something kind Very of Very New fun. Mexico style. That's right, darling. Well, Natalie, I have to ask you, how do you actually make a shrub? That's where I'm a little confused. Okay, so let's go for it. Okay. So I, I brought two cups of fruit, which I'm going to put okay. in here now. With these the are, chili? Yep, berries and pomegranate seeds, and I cut up some nice green chili. Okay, so these are the, the main flavors seeds. you can use together. Yeah, well, these are all kind of seasonal, so of course, you know, I'm yeah. a big fan of using seasonal um Ingredients. Definitely. And then I'm putting about a cup of sugar. Just regular sugar? Just plain white sugar. You okay. can get creative again and use organic sugar, whatever mm. you want. And then about three quarters of a cup of this pomegranate vinegar I found at see, the store. See, I've never seen, I, I love vinegar, you know? I love all kinds of vinegar. I have never seen pomegranate vinegar. If I'm ever going to see something different, it'll be well, with you, Natalie. Well, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, come, come shopping with me. I spent uh, like a couple hours at various stores looking at all their different kinds of vinegar to get some creative ideas. So I found fun. this pomegranate vinegar and I was like, that is just perfect Ooh, for what we're doing. Good. See, I love the smell of it. I like vinegar fries. I like vinegar on salad. I like vinegar on everything. So, but I've never thought of it in a cocktail like this. Well, no. And, you know, actually in my in my new book, Edible Cocktails, mm -hmm. I have a whole section on shrubs, making yeah. shrubs, what to do with shrubs. And I have a new video show called Edible Ooh. Cocktails Kitchen Meets Bar. Ooh. And one of my upcoming episodes will be Using shrubs in both food and drink. That's fabulous. Yeah, and this that's what makes I a great marinade. See, that's the thing. You do a great job of showing, you know, whether you want to drink the alcohol or you don't, there's options. And that's what makes it so nice. You well, always thank offer you. That. I, I appreciate that. that. Oh, and I well, appreciate we appreciate you appreciating. I think we appreciate each other. <laughs> we do. <laughs> okay, so you've mixed it up. So now, this is a fun little so activity. So now what I would do is let this sit for about 15 minutes so the sugar really kind of dissolves. Wow. And then I would pour it oh, all into. A saucepan. Okay. And I would bring this to a slow boil. We're not good. We don't have time to do the whole thing today. Okay. But this gives you the idea. I would be, you know, stirring this, bringing it to a boil, it and then so let it though. cool. Okay. Once it's cooled, I would then stick it in the fridge mm -hmm. and let it sit there for a few hours. So and heat it up and then cool it down. Exactly. Okay. So, so we're, and then after it's sat in the fridge for about 20, 30 minutes uh -huh. and it's cooled off a bit, I like to smush all the berries a little bit, get some more flavor right. out of them. A muddle? With a muddle. You know, sometimes I wash my hands and squeeze them with my fingers. Oh. <laughs> She's such a kid at heart. I love that idea. That's well, fun. Well, it really smushes them up well. So, so did anyways, you do that with so, this? so then this would be our finished shrub, all right? Okay. Then the next step would be to strain it. Okay. So we would you just pour the whole thing, strain out the fruit. I would put the fruit aside and use that maybe over salmon mm. or over chicken later. You can use it in a marinade. What a good idea. But what we're left with is this wonderful smell of this, this wonderful shrub. Oh my gosh, that smells so good. So you can get a bit of the berry, yeah. a bit of the vinegar, a bit of the green chili, all that earthiness. And then you'll taste a little sweetness with that sugar. Yeah, actually, I, yeah, let me give you a spoon so you can just taste the can shrub I? on its own. I, you know, people hear vinegar and go, oh, that sounds weird. But actually, no. just take a little taste of that try. and of the shrub. a spoonful of shrub helps the medicine go down. Mm. Well, Ooh, I love that taste. Yeah, and vinegar is actually really mm. good for your digestion. Mm -hmm. It has a lot of very healing Ooh. properties or medical properties. I love that taste. So now to make a cocktail with our shrub, mm -hmm. I'm putting about three quarters of an ounce okay. of the shrub into a tall glass. Kind of got like a syrupy consistency a little when you it pour does. it. It huh? does. Well, that's the sugar. It's kind of like making simple syrups. Okay. We've done simple syrups yeah. on your show before. Yeah. And so now we're going to put about three quarters of an ounce of pama, which is a pomegranate liqueur. Again, fabulous for this time of year. Oh, I've never seen that before. Pama? Uh, you haven't tried pama? All right. No. Well, I'll have to give you a taste of that in a second. It's a really pomegranate. nice. Pomegranate liqueur. It's very tasty. Yeah, this is a great time of year for all this pomegranate. So, and you're, like yeah. you said, it is really good for you. And there's a lot of antioxidants in these berries as well. Oh, absolutely. So 
So you're actually finding something healthy in your beverage. And, you're, and that's what we that's, love to drink healthily. Yes, we love that about you, Natalie. <laughs> then we'll you always it. find the health factor <laughs> in the alcohol. There you go. Now, and what is this? So now I'm add, I added about an ounce and a half of rum. Oh. Rum agricole. Okay. And then now what I'm going to do is add some ice. Okay. Oh, it's starting to smell glass really good. Ice. Oh, it's so delicious. It sounds weird. I and mean, people say vinegar in a right, cocktail. Right. That's so bizarre. But actually it tastes so good because instead of using citrus fruits mm -hmm. or something for the acid and the balance of the drink, we're yeah. using the vinegar. I love it. So now oh, I'm going to top it with Perrier, lemon flavored Perrier. Fabulous. And real quick, tell our viewers how they can keep up with you because you have so many things going oh, on. Oh, please come to the liquidmuse.com. You okay. can see the very first episode of my new video show, Yay. Edible Cocktails, is a pomegranate pumpkin puree. Oh, so, and used in both Halloween food drink. and drink. So I think that you might enjoy that. You know, Fabulous. give that a taste and see what you think. Okay, I'm and when we come back, your I, and when we come back, you'll have to join me for a little cheers to, to the new to the new month of October. Absolutely, mm. happy October. Oh, this is good. What we'll do you think? Right isn't back. that different? <gasn't> oh, it's, it's different, really good, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, it's refreshing. It's refreshing, and mm. I, I really actually I'm, I'm surprised at how much I like the vinegar. Oh, it's like good. I thought it would be weird, but it's actually really good. No, I love it. Love it. And, of course, as we get into tomorrow's show, you don't want to miss New Mexico style. We've got trendy fall fashion for the Cosmo Girl. You'll find out what's brewing at the Santa Fe Brewing Company. And we're rocking out with the James Douglas Show. And right now, like I've got to give everybody a warning about this, Natalie Bovis, the Liquid <laughs> Muse, because we have made this fabulous cocktail with the palma and the shrubs rum and, the, shrub. and the rum, and it goes down really easy. Uh -oh. That's Yay. all I'm going to say. <laughs> you got to be careful not to drink it like a glass of lemonade like I'm doing right now because <laughs> it's easy to go there. Have a great day everybody. Thanks for joining. Happy October. Cheers. Happy October. Ching, ching. Yeah. Cheers. Have a good one. We'll see you back here tomorrow morning at 8. <laughs> I just did a Kathy late. I know you did. <laughs> <laughs> You'd be great on that show.